yogis, I'm Camille and welcome to my Camille Yogi Aerial Yoga channel. Also welcome to my Aerial Yoga studio, full of sparkle colors and chakras. In today's class we're going to concentrate more on the lower body, so legs and hips open us, but also on the strength. And the whole class will be much more like a flowy vinyasa style and it's more like intermediate to advanced practitioners of aerial yoga. So let's get started. And as always, let's start the class with embryo pose. If you don't know how to get into it, just check the video above. And let's meet in the silken side. Just a little bit to get our minds concentrated and more connection, more connected to the body and sensations. So just lean backwards, straighten your back, relax your shoulders, your arms. Close your eyes for a moment. And just first of all, feel a body. Perhaps some of the body parts are tense, some of them relaxed, or perhaps neutral. So just spectate it from inside, scan through from your head towards your toes. Notice how you feel, how you start the class, with what thoughts, what emotions, without judgment, just accepting everything as it is. And then bring your awareness to your breathing. And first of all, just follow the breath where you feel it the most, in which body part. In your belly, maybe the woman in your ribcage or the chest, or maybe your throat, and start deepening your breath. So inhale, big breath in throughout your body and feel the expansion. And then exhale fully, completely, feeling the sinkness of your belly and coming closer to your spine. In this way, we're going to head to Ujjayi breathing. That warms the body from the side. And just follow the sound, the soothing sound, as if the inner wind Flowing in and out. So just a few more moments like that. start to move our body so just take your feet out of the sill and inhale just reach up and stretch elongating your spine perhaps yawn if you feel like it and then just grab the silk in front of you push away and bring your back leg to the front facing me and sit in the silk comfortably so perhaps you would want to scoot a little bit forward but the silk would be uh, around the middle of your thigh and now just grab the edges of your silk which are next to your armpits lean back bend your elbows from outside and then draw your elbows together with the silk to one another towards another and then push up forward and open up into those little wings into chrysalis pose and then Cross your arms by taking the opposite sides, the opposite edges of your silk, and then just lean your forehead into the wrists. So there you go. And from here we're gonna move, uh, going to move like cat cow movement. So inhaling and pushing your chest forward and opening your chest, your shoulders, and arching, and exhaling, curling, rounding your back and looking to your belly. Inhaling again, pushing forward and opening, 
And exhaling again, curling and rounding into a little ball. Look into your belly. Inhaling and lengthening from the front of the body. Exhaling, lengthening your spine. And two more. Inhaling. And exhaling, up, down. Last one. And then neutral position, taking your arms out and stand up. Okay, so just standing in between yourself, feet, hips apart. And from here on, just lean backwards, so silk under the ribcage, inhaling and lifting your arms up, exhaling, bending your knees, and going on your tiptoes towards like one straight line. Inhaling, opening and even arching a little bit if you wish. And exhaling, activating your belly, your glutes, arms as high as you can. Inhaling, opening, exhaling, activating everything in one line. If you want. Going on your tip, tip, toes. And exhaling, hold. Keep on breathing, looking forward. Show that direction. I'm still by your ears. Pelvis tilt under. Last breath in. And exhaling, leaning backwards. Woo. Okay, and now just a little bit more into the joints and connection, connected tissues. So just relax your pelvis. We're going to turban. So I'm just bending one of the knees. Don't forget to relax the whole belly that we hold it before and just turn and from the back to the other side full circle around so exhaling and releasing your body inhaling coming back freely loosely and if you want you can close your eyes for different sensations two circles in a row And also feel that connection with your feet. How we go from the edges through heels to tiptoes, where the first impulse is coming from is exactly from the feet to make our movement, that circle movement. And three circles. One side. And the other side. Okay, and let's leave in the middle. Stand up, silk in front of you, and from here we're going to uh, downward dog, the hanging one. So, uh, since it's more like intermediate class, we're going to go to this pose uh, through the flip. You can check out the flips here in the video above. And palms actively sticking to the floor, grounding through. You walk as far further as you can to lengthen your shoulder line and spine. Relax your head, your neck. Just legs also relaxed, cross through the ankles. Start to swing from side to side with your hips. So keep your shoulders active, arms all, always extended. Just feel that light feeling for your hips, for your legs. While the top of the body is rounded now. And cross your ankles onto the different leg. Keep breathing deeply. From here on, bring your palms just under your shoulders, extend your legs in straight line as if we were standing into the plank pose. And now just draw your left palm under your chest and uh, we will turn into side plank. So the right hand will grab yourself from inside, just a little bit bend your elbow and turn on the side completely. I will turn to you and you will see more clearly. So the 
left palm still under the shoulder and push it from the ground. Feet together and just check if you can see your toes. If you can't see your toes, you might be arched and just relaxed and hanging there. We don't want that. We want to activate everything, especially our side and diagonal uh, oblique muscles. So just uh, keep your feet together and a little bit push them forward and lift them up. So as you see, I'm a little bit also the diagonal. In this way, we activate more of the center to keep that band. And then taking your arm away from the silk and looking up. So I will stay in here. Or if you want, you can add an extra arch through your back and open through the chest. So with this, you bend in your top leg, which is your right, and leaning backwards. So you see my thigh uh, and hamstrings are against the silk. And the top leg, just grab it with the foot or the ankle. And pushing it away, still looking up. And holding the pose. Keep breathing. One more breath in. Exhaling, releasing if you have holding uh, the foot. And now again, take the silk from inside. From here on, we do the transition into the standing uh, position. So again, bringing your leg up at this time all the way, bending behind your back, so as if you're still doing that arch. And now both arms grabbing the same side of the silk, and you will turn uh, to the side. Okay, so now we're going to more standing poses. Just bring yourself comfortably and widening it uh, more towards the knee. So the hanging leg, which is your left, is active at the point or flex, whichever is more comfortable. The bottom leg, which is right, is uh, still straight, looking forward. So inhaling here and exhale going on your tiptoes. So lift up and think more, uh, not as going as forward, not as up, as if somebody is pulling you through your crown. So activate the bottom leg, the right leg is active, through your hamsters, through your quads and glutes, and activate your core. In here, we're not pushing your chest forward, we're holding it in one straight line. Focus on one point, and then slowly open your arms wide into the T shape. And when you feel in here comfortably and holding the pose, then close your eyes. More challenge. This way, our body is more balancing, which means we're activating those deeper in the muscles of your core. And it's okay if you lose the balance, just come back again, open your eyes. Make that straight line through the body, and then again, try to close your eyes. A few more breaths. Last breath in. And bringing up, opening your eyes, taking the silk. Bring your heel down. And now just go through the silk. And this time I'm going to do dynamic for mobility of our hips. So stretching through the inner hips, inner groins. So inhaling, lifting up and opening. Exhaling, bring your weight back to the heel, and this time leaning backwards into the sun and extending the front leg. Inhaling, opening into the standing lunge, exhaling and stretching through into the kind of like a split bow, semi split. Inhaling, up, exhaling backwards and extending your both legs. Inhaling, opening through the hips, exhaling. Extending your legs through the hamstrings. So if you want, and last one. And let's meet in neutral position. So arms in front of the silk again. This time turn your uh, right foot 45 degrees just to keep your knee safe since the whole weight will be just on one leg. So inhaling, lifting your arms up. Exhale and opening into your warrior two and looking to your left palm. So shoulders down, still holding the core that you want arch, but tilt your pelvis under and feel the openness for your inner thighs. Looking in front and adding up a reverse warrior for mobility in our waistline. So bring your palm up to the ceiling 
and inhaling, lifting up while the other palm, your right palm is either on your thigh, on your uh, glute, and leaning back, exhaling, coming back into warrior two. So inhaling, opening through your chest and turning your chest forward, and then exhaling again, warrior two. So keep on holding your core, keep your holding your base of the leg, your right leg is active, and inhaling, again coming back. So a few more. Last one. And exhaling, going all the way to the front and from inside of your thigh, just pushing back into that angle pose. So slide through the silk, the, one, uh, the first line of it, or the second, just bend your elbows then, and uh, bend your right elbow to open even more and turn the top of your body to the ceiling. So keep feeling that shoulder blades coming together in the back and looking up and still pushing through your hip forward. So the whole body is active, nothing is relaxed. If you want more challenge, just you can clasp your uh, interlace your fingers behind your back by holding them together. I will turn to you from the back. So either here or um, more intense, more challenging pose is extending your front leg and the top arm grabs the foot. In whichever pose you end up, just make sure you're not hanging in the pose, but you come back and be like this. You're still going forward, direction is there, and keep on opening through your shoulder that you want curled in, but open through your sides, it's that side angle. So feel the openness through your shoulders, through your waist, while the hips are still opening and stretching through. Keep breathing, either this, either in the laced fingers behind your back, or just pushing away from the silk, whichever it is, look up. A few more breaths. Last breath in. And exhaling, taking the silk which is closer to your chest. Come up. And from here on, Go across through the sill. So lean back, hang into the sill, and bring your right knee into the sill, crossing through. You end up with your left leg on the ground and release your arms next to your sides by the hips. And now, warrior three, so grab through your left foot to the side, and in the same time, while pushing the, sill, uh, the chest down, extend your back leg through the heel, looking to your foot on the mat and feel that heaviness through the left foot throughout the wideness while also that extension through your back from your heel up to the crown as if somebody pulling opposite directions. Keep breathing, bring your shoulder blades together if you want more challenge, you can bring your arms either shoulder height in T-shape or by your ears. Two more breaths. The whole weight is still more on the front of your foot. Last breath in. Exhaling hands by your hips. Inhaling, bring your back leg uh, and bend. And then here we go dynamically again into the lunge more for the was the top of the thigh muscle. So inhaling and lifting your arms, but exhaling and extending the back leg, front by 90 degrees, deep lunge, opening into the airplane. Inhaling, lifting up and bring your back leg closer to the buttocks and exhaling, opening, real in the groins. Inhaling up and exhaling, deep lunge. Two more. And last one. And exhaling, hold. Keep breathing into the deep lunge, looking in front of you. Shoulders back, arms as high as you can, and as deep lunge as you can too. Last breath in. And exhaling, hands, arms on the mat. And jump back to the plank. Shoulders. Still over the wrist, hold your pelvis, your core, your glutes, 
the legs both extended and strong. And now we will do another version of side plank. So put your weight back to that left arm, turning your left foot edge, or if you can put your whole foot on, on the mat and opening through. Keep lifting your hips, your pelvis, arm and leg strong, looking up. So either hold the pose in here, or again, perhaps you want more arching and more opening for your chest, so bend the top leg, grab the foot, and open up. Again, to the ceiling. Keep on breathing. Now breath in. And sailing, releasing your leg, your arm, and meeting into the plank, vinyasa. So lifting your heel, your pelvis, we'll run back into the plank, exhaling chaturanga, inhaling upward dog, exhaling three-legged dog. And now, just a few more, uh, like playing around on your handstand, so bring your knee towards the chest, lift your pelvis, either stay in here and balance, either extend the leg, and try to feel that one straight line going up through the back as if something someone is pulling you. A few more breaths. And coming down into the hop pigeon. So just relax the hand inside leg and bend the front leg. Heel coming closer to the opposite hip. So left foot towards the right hip. And relax. One more breath in, breath out. Inhaling, coming up and jump in next to your arm, bring the back leg. Inhaling all the way up and exhaling arms by your sides. Take the foot and then we're meeting again into a downward dog. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So first of all, just swing from side to side. Take your breath, go faster, so again, make it in more rhythm and calm and calm. Just notice how you feel, how the body feels. Perhaps one side will differ from the other one, or maybe not. But just always keep that awareness of what's happening now and here. With the body, with the breath, with sensations, and connection either with the ground or the sun. Two more breaths. And we will continue on the other side. So, palms just under your shoulders. Extend your both legs together and feet together too. And now the right palm under your chest. Left arm grabs the silk from inside and a little bit pull it towards yourself to turn it on the side into the side plank. And I will turn to you, facing you, and the legs keep on lifting, so don't draw and don't hang on them, just lift up from your oblique and side muscles, lift your arm up, look to the ceiling, to your palm, feel that line, over, and if you want more, you can bend your top leg, grabbing your ed uh, ankle, or foot, and opening, so pushing the pelvis and chest forward, Still looking up, keep breathing. Last breath in. Breathing out, release the leg if you've been holding it. And now we will turn into this um, standing pose. So still in the side plank, grab that inside of the sill. Lift that top leg all the way through the sill, bend your knee behind and both arms grabbing the side and meeting into warrior one. So just make sure your silk is a little bit wider but it won't squeeze too much. And activate your foot, the hanging foot, inhale. And exhale, go on your all the way tiptoes this time of your left foot. So hips in one line, make sure that it won't open up and just release. Keep on activating all those little muscles in the hip bones. 
and um, make them strong and more mobile. So the whole leg is strong, active and keep on lifting more up rather than forward. Find that one point, hold your core and open your arms into T-shape. When you find the balance, challenge yourself by closing your eyes. And keep breathing. Just a little bit more. Last breath in. And breathing out, open your eyes and grab the silk. And just for a short moment, let's leave that heel on the ground. And this time, again, arms go through the sill and behind. Push in front of your tiptoes, arms all the way up, opening into the standing lunge. And exhaling, bring up the weight all the way back and extend the front of the breath. Inhaling and into the lunge. Exhaling and lean backwards. Inhaling, opening through the inner groins. Exhaling and stretching through the hamstrings, the back of the legs. Especially now the right hand. One. And last one. Meeting in the middle, taking your arms out of the sill. Turn your bottom leg 45 degrees into opening warrior two. So inhale and exhale, open into the shoulder height arms, looking forward, open through your hips, still holding actively the whole pelvis and engage your muscles, your core, and adding up the reversed warrior. So now bring your palm up to the ceiling and inhaling reverse warrior, the upper arm just lean into the thigh or your glute, exhaling warrior two. Inhaling, opening through your chest and turning more to the front, exhaling, turning to the side into warrior two. Inhaling, opening through a rib cage. Exhaling, more closing up. Two more. And this time going all the way forward and down. From the inner thigh, we're pushing away through the bottom arm while the upper one slides up from the first line of the silk or the second. This is a bit second, but then your elbow that you would have where to push and keep opening the top of the shoulder, which in this part, it's the left shoulder. So open it up, looking to the ceiling, and still in, standing into this deep lunge that you would feel the stretch for your inner thighs and the hips. And if you did before the oration, do it uh, this time also, either interlacing your fingers, your arms behind your back, or extending the front leg, and taking from the top, but keep on opening through the side, remember, rotate through your arms. Keep breathing. Last breath in. And then say, like, take the silk in front of you and come up. We will cross over and end up with the opposite leg into the sill. So lean back a little bit and now we will bring the uh, left knee inside, crossing over and ending up with the left foot inside the sill. So in here warrior three, so start grounding already with your right foot to the ground, knee is with micro bend and exhaling chest down while extending your left leg. Find a balance. Remember the weight is more forward than backwards. But you keep on holding the pose from your muscle power of your back, glutes, of course, the legs. Shoulder blades a little bit back, drawing them together. And if you want more intensity, you just bring your arms, arms by your shoulders or by your ears. Two more breaths. 
Last one. And exhale your arms by your hips and come up, bring your foot next to your glutes. And now dynamically into a deep lunge or airplane. So inhale, lift your arms up and exhaling, bending your front knee, but extend your left leg, looking forward. Inhaling, coming up. And exhaling, opening through the hips into this deep lunge. Inhaling, coming up. And exhaling the strong leg grounding through the front. So through your right leg, inhaling. And exhaling. Last one. And exhale, hold the pose. Looking forward, arms as high as you can to open your shoulders and strengthening. Back leg straight, extending through the heel. Last breath in. Breathing out all the way, palms on your mat, jump back into the plank. So hold the straight line, the core, glutes, everything is engaged, shoulders all over wrists, and here under vibration of side line. So this time ground through your right palm and turn on your right foot edge, or perhaps putting the whole foot on the mat and open through the left arm up. Either hold the pose here or adding again that arch by bending your top leg and wrapping the foot, the ankle, still lifting through your pelvis up. You're breathing. Last breath in. And breathing out, coming back into the plank. Now from here on, three-legged dog. Let's go for vinyasa. So inhaling, lifting your hips program. Wave shape, going to the plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward dog, opening for your chest. Exhale and extend into three-legged dog. And now, just a little bit holding the balance into the arms into the handstand so first of all lift your knee by the chest and lift your hips perhaps for today you will end up here or if you want more you can add up the leg don't hurry with the leg first of all you have to feel the balance for your spine keep breathing looking in between your palms and the back leg into the silk is flexed as a hook One more breath in, and breathing all the way down into the pigeon pose. Bend the back leg, relax on your elbows, relax your head. Last breath in, breathing out. Closer towards your arms, bring the back leg and program back, come up, exhaling, hands by your hips. And now let's just relax into back straddle, the upside down position to decompress our spines and lengthening. extension for your spine. Feel that softness for your belly and then expanding the ribcage and chest, your collarbones. While the shoulders are heavy, while the head is light through the neck, feel that reverse hanging, the whole body dropping.
to your belly, take a silk and between your shins and let's me down. Right. And from that foot into the child's pose. Just to let your body again balance through your blood pressure. Relax your shoulders and your arms. Keep on breathing. Finally arrived to the end of the class, uh, to Shavasana, final relaxation pose. So let's just meet into the silk through the flip. The flip, you can check out the video here above. So we'll lay down comfortably in one straight line, unless you don't feel like it through your knees. You can always just lay them and sleep in butterfly. Cross your uh, arms across your chest. Close your eyes. And just go through your body, just relaxing your legs, your pelvis, your core, chest, arms. Relax your neck and the whole facial muscles. All of our digits. Completely relaxed, sinking into the sun, sinking into the space. No way to rush. Just enjoy this moment. Let the whole things to sink into the body what today experience. Deeper breathing, Ujjayi. 
feel how the lungs filled with air fully and in the same way exhaling till the end while while you feel a completely sinkness and shrinkness in your belly. Notice how the air moves up and down. Stream the air with inner energy, vitality. Inhaling that strength and health. Inhaling whatever is strengthening you and awakening that inner power, that inner strength. And inhaling, lifting your arms up, sailing palms next to your heart and Anjali Mudra. Notice how you feel. Let that calm and happy feeling lead you through the day. And here we're going to finish this class. So thank you for joining me and practicing together. If you feel like you would like to learn something new or have some other suggestions, just always comment down below and I will plan to create that uh, class according to your wish. Uh, and also, if you not yet have the silk of your wished up color or you want to change it, so just you can check out on my website kamiyagear.com and choose your magical other color. All the links are down below in the description. And there you go, guys. So see you next time on the other videos and have a cool day. Bye. Namaste.